temperature is rising, how is it possible that the last winters in Europe have been so long and so cold? The reason is the following. Generally, the Arctic uh, seas north of Scandinavia are covered with ice in winter. But under global warming, this ice cover gets sparse and you get uh, regions where, without ice, large regions without ice. If this happens, then this creates a high pressure system in the region. A high pressure system, you know from the Weather Channel, is causing winds that can then, then actually drag cold Arctic air into Europe and cool the region. And that is how we can actually explain that global warming will cause more strong, more cold winters in Europe. Not every winter, but more of them. This phenomena has been shown to exist for Europe. But in principle, there is no reason why it should not also be at, uh, at play for cold winters in America or in, in Northern Asia. So here we have a phenomena that can explain why we have sudden cold periods in a specific region, for example Europe, even under global warming. But obviously we also expect more hot periods, more warm periods under um, global warming. And even further, generally we expect that drier regions get drier and wetter regions get wetter, meaning that rainfall um, is becoming stronger in regions where there is already a lot of rainfall and droughts get stronger in regions where we have droughts already today, like for example the Mediterranean region. So global warming means that the global mean temperature goes up. That does not mean that the temperature goes up in every region at all times. This phenomenon shows that we can actually have a very cold period in Europe in winter, um, even under global warming and even caused by global warming. If you have another question on global warming, then send us a video.